Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be bringing you none other than a screen of the day by Matt McDowell called Modern UI or User Interface, as you can see right here. This beautifully designed home screen comes with everything you need, including a time, your weather, as well as these handy and beautiful apps, app shortcuts such as for your messages, email, Play Store, YouTube settings and finally your browser. Hence to end it off it's got this brilliant little app drawer that will open up your apps right there. This will be a quick tutorial as it's very easy to do so let us begin. Okay starting from our very stock Apex launcher we're going to be going into our, um, we're going to press down on our options we want to go Apex settings. From here we'll go to home screen settings. Now this portrait grid might change according to what phone you have. For mine an S two was a 10 by 9 and that's because this screen was origi originally designed for a Nexus 4. So a 10 by 9 grid works well for me as well as I'd use the vertical margin of large just to bump up my widgets a bit but we'll come to that later. Manage screens, you only want one screen right there. Lastly in the home screen settings you want to take off hide notification bar and you still want to hide your icon labels. For the dock you want to definitely hide that dock, you don't need it. And advanced settings finally you might need it but you might not. Resize any widget as well as overlapping widgets. These might be only available in the pro version So you might want to check that out first, but you can get away with it in this screen So that is our home screen settings done. Remember our status bar at the top will still be shown for this screen Great next we'll move on to the wallpaper. Okay, great next We're going to move on to our wallpaper now There's one thing that you need to take note of for this wallpaper is that it might not fit a hundred percent to your phone Matt has provided the PSD thumbs up for that and that is because you can edit the screen however you want it in Photoshop or GIMP but now you also want to save that PSD as the size of your wallpaper. What I can do for you is create wallpapers for your phone but they are not guaranteed to work and I don't want you to hate on me if they don't. So if we hold down on our home screen and choose wallpapers and we choose quick pick wallpaper I just saved it. I actually just saved it straight. I didn't even change the the size of the screen and I left it as the Nexus 4 size which is odd because I have a Galaxy S2 so I tried resizing it as a Galaxy S2 and it didn't actually work as well as Nexus 4 which is to me a bit weird so I just left it as the Nexus 4 size I pressed save and as you can see it is designed like that. Next we're going to move on to the two, the clock widget and the weather widget. So for the clock you can download an app called Jellybean Clock or Clock J JB. If you hold down the home screen and choose widgets, don't worry I'll provide this for you in the link below and we'll choose Clock JB and we can choose Digital Clock. This allows you to have that Jelly Bean 4.2 clock for whatever Android system you're running. So there is our clock right there. Next for our weather widget we're going to hold down, choose widgets and we want to download the app called Eye in the Sky. It's a great awesome weather app, probably the best that I'll ever use. And you want to use the one called Eye in the Sky Cities. And there's a few things you want to change. You want to change your icons to Climacon Light. Don't worry, they come with this app. Background color, you want to change the transparency all the way to completely transparent. And then our text color, you want to change it to a white. And you go OK. Finally, you just want to take off show edit dots. And also you can add in a city which I did right here and you go OK and there it is it's a bit small right now obviously because of the screen grid size so we just need to resize that boom there it is that is our two widgets done next we're going to move me finally moving on to our apps at the bottom great so in order to open the apps at the bottom there's a few things that you can do to make it work the best if they don't fit on exactly 100% you want to hold down and choose widgets and you want to choose the classic desktop visualizer and go for one by one. What this lets you do say for messages if it doesn't fit 100% you can always just go resize and resize it over like there. Now as you can see it doesn't fit 100% but don't worry tapping that icon will still bring it up as I'll show you right now. So for the icon you want to select icon select your image file and you want to copy your blank PNG onto your phone and then look for it in over here. So here's the blank PNG select it you won't see it because it's blank and there we go launch application. So the first one is messages so you select launch application messaging boom clear label take off touch effects you can leave it on if you want but you go OK and there it is now it disappeared. But don't worry if it's a bit skewed because now when you tap messages still opens your messages simple as that. Do the same for your email and then for the icons at the bottom you go back into your app drawer and then say for your browser you just hold it 
and drag it onto the screen. And as you can see, it's also not 100%, but it's still over the icon. You just go edit, tap the icon, select picture. You wanna go quick pick again, look for that blank PNG, select it and go okay. So now you might think that it's very skew, but it's actually not because you just tap it and it'll still open up your browser uh, like that. Finally, if you wanna add in the app draw, it'll just hold down Apex Actions, app draw. Simple as that. And you'll just drag it over there and you'll just hold it down, go edit and change it to a blank PNG, just like the browser that I just showed you. And there is the home screen completed. So easy and simple. You might struggle a bit with the wallpaper, but do not worry if it's not 100%, it'll still look very, very cool. If you enjoyed it guys, please remember to go subscribe to the My Color Screen channel, as well as check out those other videos. I'll see you around next time and remember, don't stop customizing.